Um, here we are about uh, three, I don't know, 2,500 feet away. Go down here, bustle left, and that's, uh, I don't know, it's probably about 2,500 feet, I guess, to where uh, we were yesterday. So, um, there's a lateral uh, build, so this is a 24 count uh, cable with a flat drop bundled with it. We're going to be doing a mid-slit entry on that. We've got our Comscope uh, A case, and we've got our flat drop adapter. Um, so, uh, actually quite quite nice today. Um, but this lateral comes out of uh, Fosk two blocks that way. Yeah. And then um, laterals, this block here, and this block here so basically we're prepping this fosk to assume that every single customer here signs up um you know there's six houses so uh these are different blocks these are going to be this actually this pond would come out of a, uh, down to the end of the block there so um but yeah well, let's just go ahead we'll get um i'm just going to do another com scope Fosque, I don't know, this is like my 300th one, so, uh, we'll do our mid-split. Once I get into, um, into it a little bit, I just come back and take a peek at it. Right, so, uh, go ahead and we've got into our cable a little bit here. Um, this is the fast access cable that I was bitching about, um, but this is the armored version uh, of it. And I'll tell you right now, fast access, armored, it's true. It is super, um, super, super fast. On the fast access unarmored cable is not fun. Um, not as, not as fun anyway. Um, but I just got this Jonard, uh, can wrench, um, right here. And I'm going to make a little bit of a complaint, I think. Um, it's fantastic. It's better. It's, I mean, my old, I lost my other can wrench, so obviously this one's slightly better. But my complaint, and I want to show you this. See how it's rounded right there? Uh, here we go. See how it's rounded right there? Well, see how that is also rounded? Well, watch this. If it's not fully seated, but if you come up just that far, it doesn't grab it. Um, now, what I had been using, well, hell, I don't even have that, but I had a 3 8 um, nut driver, and so I, I get why that's, that's there on it, but if this has it and the nut has it it is kind of a pain in the ass because you can't come in at even that much of an angle yeah so i think with mine i might uh put this in the bandsaw and just cut that tip off i don't like it so uh almost done uh build here and basically what we're going to do, uh, because this is a lateral, this area is going to be blue. And then the next block down is going to be orange. So orange will just not even get landed here at all. Um, about to use the uh, Jonard MS6. Uh, it's about the best uh, tool ever invented, I'd say. Um, there's a couple different ways you can actually do this. Uh, but this is by far the simplest. Um, we're literally, it's five seconds. So, um, what we're gonna do, I always put the felt on so I have something to grip. Um, and you can see there's only one lane on there that I've ever even used. And we're gonna clamp that down and we're gonna do a mid slit entry. So, <clears throat> five seconds. Uh, 
This is basically what you're left with. You got your 12 fibers, and then you have um, your slit here. Uh, fantastic. So basically what we do now is we just go ahead and zip tie these in, right like so. And uh, then we'll work on, now these are a dry light. Um, well, I don't know what it's actually, I think it's called dry light. Um, so they do have like a, a talcum. It's hard to describe, but it's like, they're not lubricated. There's no gel or anything. Now this is a gel uh, filled uh, flat drop. So there's like a bunch of extra steps on that one. So let's go ahead and we'll get this all put in here and ready for splicing. All right, <clears throat> almost uh, almost wrapped her up here. Um, let's see, if we get her first shot, first splice of the day, you know. I'm fine with that. We're, uh, I usually I will redo it if I just want to, but uh, we're so damn close uh, here. And this is a 32. I'm gonna have negative 15 at the houses, so it's that's just fine. Yeah, so it's not safe to get up. And I think they know it what they're trying to do, but um, they have a uh, I would say roughly a 12 inch. A dildo attached to their um, to their window and they like uh, and they're smacking it with their hand okay yep that's a hundred percent what we're seeing here there's a big old fucking dick <laughs> oh my god dude what the fuck oh I'm dying laughing I mean it's just like a 12 inch it's a just giant dick dude Oh my god, why? They're in the car by themselves, so the joke, like, oh, there's just too, I'm sorry everyone, it's just, I'm just having too much fun with it.